Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, we're going to be going over a couple different news stories that I think you guys will find pretty interesting. So first off here, you guys can see Apple has stopped signing iOS 13.3.1 following the release of iOS 13.4. So as you guys know, last week on March 24th, Apple dropped iOS 13.4, which I encourage all of you to go ahead and update to. So now they have stopped signing 13.3, so you cannot downgrade. So if you're on 13.3.1, and you want to jailbreak, then definitely stay there. Uh, but if you're an average person, just update, it's better. Now today, Apple actually surprised us and dropped iOS 13.4.5 beta one to developers. And the main thing that this adds is just the ability to share Apple music songs straight to Instagram or Facebook stories. So when you're listening to a song, you can just hit the share sheet, hit the Instagram button, and it will direct you straight to your Instagram app where you can post it, for all your friends to see exactly what you're listening to. So kind of cool. We'll see how this kind of evolves because right now it's a little glitchy, uh, but once the public beta comes out, I'm gonna put it on my phone and I'll let you guys know exactly how that works. For those of you that have used weather apps in the past, you guys have probably stumbled upon Dark Sky. It's highly regarded as one of the best weather apps on the iPhone uh, and for good reason, it's pretty accurate. And I actually have had it on my phone for many, many years now. And it was only like $3.99 or something, so I just got it. It's cool, but Apple has decided to go ahead and acquire the entire application. So I guess they bought out the company that Dark Sky was under, and now Apple owns it completely. Now, what does that mean for you guys? Well, if you have an Android device, you'll notice that this app is no longer on the Android app stores or anything like that. You cannot get this on an Android phone anymore. In the past, you could, uh, but Apple has just said, nah, we're gonna make this iOS only, which is fine, that's whatever. Now they've also taken down their website so you can't use it there, and their API is coming to an end in 2021. So if you guys use the app called Carrot, Carrot Weather, uh, they actually call their API calls from Dark Sky's information. So that means that if you guys use Carrot, uh, I don't know what they're gonna do at the end of 2021. You got plenty of time to use the app, but they're gonna have to scramble and figure out something else. Now it would be kinda cool if Apple went ahead and maybe made this the default app or added in a bunch of these features that this app has into iOS 14's weather app. That's something that I think could be happening, but I wouldn't hold your breath on having the entire app ported, but that would be cool if they did that. So if you don't have this app yet, definitely check it out. If you allow it to check your location and everything, it can track you and you know send you up to the minute like hey, it's gonna rain in three minutes, uh, grab an umbrella or something like that. So it's pretty cool, but I don't do that. I keep location services off. If you have location services on, it can also send barometric pressure to the app. And that's another way that they know how the weather is in your specific area. It's pretty cool how they crowdsource it, but a little too creepy in my opinion. So I keep location off. For $3.99, it is a solid weather app. So go check it out if you haven't already. Now let's get to the star of the show here. This story is definitely gonna get some publicity here. Um, a case for an upcoming low-cost iPhone shows up at Best Buy with an alleged April 5th stock date. So this had some people scratching their heads today, like, is this real? Is this really gonna happen on April 5th? Cause that seems really close. That's only five days away. And the answer is maybe. So this source is not verified at all claims they work at Best Buy, got their hands on this, and they're not allowed to put it on the shelves until April 5th. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it could mean a few things. First of all, this could be completely fake and they could just be doing this for attention. But noting that they're not saying who actually posted this, I mean, they're not really gaining anything from that. It does look legit. Everything on this looks legit. And some of you guys might spot this down here. It says new iPhone 4.7 inch 2020. It does not say iPhone 9, but this is very common for new phones when the case developers don't know what it's gonna be called. So they just put the exact specs of it. So according to UAG, they must think that something's coming in 2020. According to this, this is a Best Buy employee holding the phone. So I would say we might wanna believe this. I'd say there's a 60% chance this is real. I can't confirm it. Here's the thing about this case. This is the same specs supposedly and dimensions as like the iPhone 8 almost. Like the cutout might be a little bigger up here, but overall it's a very similar form factor. So it's not hard for case manufacturers to actually edit their cases to fit this new iPhone, supposedly. So we'll have to see on this one. Uh, I haven't had any sources tell me anything about this release date, so 
Um, I cannot verify this, but it would be cool if we saw this on April 5th. That means that the iPhone 9 or iPhone SE 2 would have to launch either before that or on that day, but I would think before that. But the weird thing is April 5th is a Sunday, so <laughs> Apple's probably not gonna drop a new product on a weekend. So that leads me to believe that if this is true, this phone, the iPhone 9 could be released later this week, which would be crazy. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this down below. Again, none of this is confirmed. Uh, I haven't had any of my sources reach out to me and tell me that this is true. So take it with a grain of salt, but it would be kind of cool if it were true. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.